Today we're looking at the Airyware tuner for Windows Phone. So let's go ahead and check out the tuner here. I've got my acoustic here. And uh, let's just see how it tunes first. So it's just like any other tuner. It's very accurate. Let's take this down. You see it turns red when we're off. And also if we overshoot, we will tell us by how much. And also turn red and let us know that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Other things we can do would be the strobe here. So right now the strobe is on auto. Let me just turn the strobe off. And now if I play, you can see the difference there. There's no strobe. We can also turn the strobe on, so it's on all the time. It's showing us which way we need to tune. All right, then again, we'll go back to auto. And also you'll notice that there's a little a little ball here that lets us know how close we are to our note. So I'll go up to our D here. You see that little ball right up here, okay? So I get closer, it gets right over the note. So it lets us know that we're close. So that's a really cool feature of this tuner. Now I've been using an acoustic here, but we can also use an electric guitar. Now we have our electric strapped on here. Now one thing I'm gonna do first, just go to my presets here, and I change this to drop B, because that's how I tune my electric, and at least today I change it around. Let me hit it, just hit a note, unamplified. So you can see that we can indeed tune unamplified. Of course it'll work better if we're Amplified a bit. It's a very accurate tuner, probably the best I've used on Windows Phone as an app. And it's just like a regular tuner, but it's on your phone, so therefore, it's cool. So now that we've seen that this tuner actually does tune very well, let me go ahead and walk you through some of the other features. We can actually press on a note here, so that gives us a tone, a reference tone. If you prefer to tune like that, you see up here we're in A, 440 hertz. Uh, most people are going to leave it at that, but if you want to change it, you can do that. Let's go back. We've already seen the strobe. It can be auto, on, or off. There's also a very helpful denoise feature so if you're in you know a really noisy place like maybe you're playing a gig or something there's lots of noise you can capture that background noise for five through 20 seconds build your profile and that will filter out your noise and that will help you while you're tuning so it's off right now but i could sample just the background noise and you wouldn't want to make any sound while this is sampling All right and then the noise would be on and make it a bit easier for you to tune your guitar great feature we can also change our temperament. Again, most people probably won't change this, but uh, you know, it's here. Tons of uh, options to choose from. And if we change it, you can see up here, a little uh, layout, a grid showing how that temperament is changing. Okay, and if you ever get all messed up, just hit this reset button. There we go. And then we also have the presets, which is probably going to be uh, the option you're using most. You can see we have favorites on, or favorites off. Now you see me tune a guitar, but this can tune way more than just a guitar. Obviously you can tune to any note you want, no matter what preset you're on. You know, we all know that, but we have presets in here for tons of instruments. I, I cannot show you all of them. It would take me way too long, but as you can see, so many instruments from guitar, the bass, banjo, to a bunch of things in here I've never even heard of. Okay, and you know, like I said, favorites on, favorites off. So you don't want to come in here and have to run through this whole list to find exactly what you want to tune. Okay, so say you have an eight string guitar. We'll go ahead and grab our eight string guitar. And since we're always tuning our eight string guitar, let's go ahead and uh, add that to our favorites. It's just that easy as pressing that star. Now, when we turn our favorites on, look here, eight string guitar, we can just choose that profile, hit our back button, and now we're on the eight string guitar preset. Go back to presets here. Again, favorites are on. Maybe I want to tune my bass. 
hit this right here. That's in standard. Tells us that we're in bass. Pretty cool. Go back to presets. Let me uh, tune my six string. I've saved a bunch of different settings that I tune to all the time. Uh, let's go to drop G. Hit our back button. And there we go. We can tune to drop G and have our reference points right here on screen. And to finish up here, we also have a question mark button here. Uh, you can visit them online at tuner.airyware.com. You can ask for a fix, rate and review, of course. And you can even ask for a feature. If there's a, a tuning that you use all the time that's not included, just go ahead and uh, shoot the guy an email and he'll you know, probably uh, help you out and put it in there. So this is a really cool tuner for your Windows phone. There is a free version available, a light version. But I definitely suggest you go ahead and check out the paid version. It's definitely worth it for all these options that you get as we've seen in this video. So that's the Airyware Tuner for Windows Phone. Go grab it in the Windows Store right now.